of utility. Obviously, the smoke towards Xbox, pretty critical for the T's success here. Pep's not going to get flashed through. Does spot Smash and finds him. So that's a great opening kill the way of Fnatic. Crim's also chiming in for one of his own. Finding two, in fact, in mid, just picking them out of the air. Just by a nine left with S4. He's going to go down, dropping the bomb. And now S4, four players to find. Probably not going to have a great duel here with the Glock. Although it does find one. Yeah, especially at longer range, this Glock is going to be a difficult task against these USPs. And in fact, Alex, he's completely flanking him through the long door. So it looks like his time is numbered. We'll actually turn around and try and get the kill, but not to be. We take a look. Poison, he has come over in support. He's just wielding the scout. So not the AWP. Headshot will be required. But the Esports Cup Keith are actually just going to extend by a nine. That's an incredibly good pickup because it does open up this bomb site. The rotations, they are here for Fnatic, but they're a little bit slow to the party. Yeah, Crims has arrived with Alex in Messi. They got the MP9s. Pepsil's still down along. He's not really been able to activate just because you cut Saver is playing Ruiner there. Smash is gonna find two. Now Pepsil all alone finds one, but there's still two players left. He's got 14 HP. I actually think he's just gonna back off, decides to save, gonna pick up an AK, get a smoke, and get out of there with his life. And really, I think the critical thing there is you can't save. He's hit a lovely time in here. This could be the absolute linchpin to this round because Alex and Pepsil, they're just collapsing on long. But Amster will win out that fight. But now, Frims, he can start to activate. He's actually going to play Trigger Discipline and Cut Saver. You've got to be careful because Crims is there in the pack. He drops the bomb, but he will get traded out immediately. It's now suddenly a four versus two for the T's. That's so unfortunate, Crims. If you just, uh, you know, push a little bit further, those two T's are pushed into mid and just out of his line of sight. So he's only able to find the one. You can see he was playing Trigger Discipline for a little bit there, just hoping to find someone else. But no one reveals themselves. He makes the assumption that they're moving through long doors, but it's actually mid where those T's reside and he gets traded out. So now the terrorists, they are going to be moving towards the B site. Poison is here to receive them, but he's the only one and all he has is a scout. So it'd be some pretty incredible shots if he wants to hold it. Gonna peek out, get to one tag, so that's a start. And Smash, <laughs> gonna stop anything from happening. Mezzi, just gonna wanna hold on to that orb. Slink away. Towards B, but here resides Mezzi. Yeah, you can't save her. He's the one that got ahead, but the Molly stopped anyone else joining him. He goes down to Mezzi. The tray comes through, though. Smash has evened it up, and Crims is tucked into the corner here. He's going to be the one that gets tested here. The Molotov and Smoke denies Alex any vision. A huge spam through does a large amount of damage, and he actually manages off the back of those flashes to find two. S4, he has to run away with this AWP, but Amsa, he's been activated in mid, finds one, can't quite convert the spray onto Pepsa. And so now it's just S4 left in the 1v2. He does have the bomb on his back. The ECTs, they're in hot pursuit though. You can see on the minimap, one's coming through lowers and the other in mid. He's actually going to get to the site for free though. So he can get himself into the post plant. And the AWP, that is the weapon for the job. He's going to get this bomb down now. The Molly's going to push him off. Oh, the jump peak comes through. They're aware of his position here. Not aware of Pepsor though. He comes up close, takes down S4. And Fnatic, they bounce back with their third. And they managed to pick up two AWPs as well. So that's going to be critical going into the following round. In addition, the wall of smoke's come down and that's a well-timed Molotov. In fact, Fire 9, he's actually just going to go through it. And he completely removes Alex from the equation. About to rush onto this bomb site is the entirety of the E-Club Keeve assault. The bomb can be planted towards short, but it's a well-placed nade. In fact, it actually just misses the mark. The rotations, they are here for Fnatic, but they need to get a move on if they want to defuse this bomb because the post plants are actually very good since the bomb is planted at shore. Yeah, and two orbs and an MP9 is not the ideal retake equipment. There's a lot on Pepsor's shoulders here, but Poison, he's actually going to get the first kill, but this activates Yuka Saver. He was sitting in mid. He's going to find two, and now it's the one on two. Amster is really low. Pepsor is actually just going to stick the bomb. No, not quite. If you've taken that tool with Amster, they'll... It looks to be more of an A split, but the numbers for Fnatic are here. The first challenge is Pepsor. The Zuclut Saver is about to peek out. And they actually win the duel. That's a huge battle for the T's to win because this means Poison. His attention is now going to be over towards Long. And that means that Amster can activate over at the short position. Yeah, Poison has to be careful here. It looks like he wants to peek into this. There's an AWP on the line. He misses the shot. 
The spam comes through. Actually, he's able to reposition and find a second as well. Drops the bomb. It's now just Euclid Saver. Somehow Poison is able to salvage it. He does go down in the end. But Euclid Saver, he's all alone. Picks up the AWP. He's actually just going to drop into pit here. Might have a chance to maybe throw a huge shot out here. Takes out Alex. Turns this into a one on two. Don't know if he's going to be ready for this player so close. Crims right there next to him. And oh no, it's Mezzi actually. Takes him down. Gonna think better of challenging that as the smoke fades. It's gonna back off. Once again, looking like another one of these short takes, which have been quite successful for esports club Kiev. Hundred percent, and it's no reliable. Alex, this time he's getting up close and personal to the smokes. Will the T's be aware of this? Because actually, poison. He's just rotated over. He can now hear the utility being deployed. Will be called back in by Alex. And now the spam, it comes in, but he's only good for one. Poison, he needs to hold the line, and he gets a collateral. That's such a good way to mark the defense on A. And through the smoke, he finds a third. Yeah, looks like we're going to see these smokes come out once more. So it's going to be Poison. All eyes on him. Pepsol towards long can support. But Poison's the one that's going to be the first point of contact here. Actually, the T is, they've thrown their smokes and it actually looks like a little bit of a fake. It's going to be mid where it takes place. Alex goes down to smash. They're going to throw these mid to B smokes and crims. Him and Mezzi, they have to put up a defense here. Going to flash himself out, but gets dinged through the door. Not ideal. Gunfire back and forth, but there's only 20 seconds left. Crims and Mezzi, they can stop this. All they need to do is stop that bomb going down. The bomb goes forward and gets dropped. Crims, he goes down. It's just Mezzi left. He is good for one. So now... Fire 9, he's in the 1v2, he's going to fake the plant. That's going to bait Pepsor in, but it doesn't matter. The head They've got to get a move on. Yeah, it's just Mezzi here. All these teammates are on the other side of the map, so it's all on his shoulders here. He's just tucked back behind the side boxes at the moment. Going to try and find the right time to swing out. I think they have spotted him there. He's playing around the boxes, finds the first. The flash from Crims is good. Smash does find Mezzi in the, in the end, but the damage is now done. It's a two on three. Crim's just darting around window, trying to keep these T's entertained. But Smash, he's actually got the angle on him. Takes him down. Now it's a two on two. Pepsor does take down S4, though. That's the danger man done. It's just Smash now. With, left with the Galil. Half HP. Two players to find. Swings out. Finds the first. Card swing onto Pepsor, though. And so Fnatic, in the end, are going to take us to an 8-7 half. Yeah, road to recovery. Just extended over towards upper tunnels, but look at this push from Smash. This could really catch out the T's off guard, but Pepsor, it looks like he's aware of it. Gets a dig for his troubles, but that just baits them straight into Amster. Lovely work by the defense on the B bomb site. S4, he's aggressed so far forward over towards short as well. And all it's just all fallen apart for Fnatic. There's only two players left alive. Oh, and I saw that's a delightful tap onto Mezzi as well. It's only Poison left alive. He's only got 18 points of health. The bomb. He can't even really recover it. It's going to have to be a one versus five. It's going to have to be a heroic attempt. But he can't even get the saver. He knows that there might be a player towards that long position, but he actually just turns away. And Alex, he will double the man advantage and he'll go one further. Fire nine, he gets eliminated. But whilst the flank of Crims does tend to fall... It's now a three on two. The defense is quite split, but the Fnatic are grouped, so they can set their sights somewhere else as the bomb. It just escapes towards long. Yeah, this might not be the right play, though. Both the CTs are in mid. If S4 catches a timing here with this peak, he could disrupt everything. Poison's keeping an eye on it, but S4, he's the one that strikes, takes down Pepsor. Now Poison... He knows that this AWP is in play. Oh, it's going to get a freebie there. S4 not aware the poison could be here. The spray, it's not quite there. This HE, though, it could catch him. It doesn't. He escapes. Just gets away with his life. Going to drop that smoke to enable himself to get out of there. And that bomb is going to go down with the long plant as well. So this is a good post plant setup for Fnatic. And Amster, he has everything to do if he wants to secure this round. Let's make good ground up short. Sure. He's just going to wait for the smoke just to dissipate. Try and get a look in potentially. He's actually ahead of this Molotov. Poison, I'm not sure if he knows. Just trying to peek in towards the ramp for information. But Amster, he's hit a lovely timing. He's just managed to walk by him. And Poison, this is scary. But he's actually going to catch him off guard. Will ne land the shot. The scout, but ooh, with Alex chasing him down, that might become a problem. Actually, it looks like it's going to be a fast play towards B. This time, Pepsol's going to take down Amster. 
By a nine, he's alone here, and Crims is going to take him out. The Molotov also doing plenty of work. That's the B site completely theirs, and all these CTs, I mean, they're just going to have to save. Yeah, 100%. The B bomb site as well, it's notoriously difficult to retake on Dust 2, but the economy is just not there for the CTs and Fnatic. Consecutive rounds in a row. They haven't really got the money to throw a couple of players at this to hunt, but nevertheless, they're going to try and do so. You see that Alex, he's creeping in towards the long doors. Poison, actually with the AWP kind of scouting out towards CT. You have to be a little bit careful because Smash, you can definitely hear the scope in. And they can't buy a new AWP if he does go down. Although they are seem to be aware of Smash's position. And Mezzi going to molly him out and take him down. Now this sees two players towards long. Alex has a read on one of them. Wins the duel as well. That's you got Saver going down. Just S4 here with the AWP. He has to win this duel against Alex. And he does. Ducks down trying to escape these players. And the CTs. So a chance to be quite disruptive here, particularly if the flash is set up for Bayern. And he doesn't even need it. He just spams through the smoke and finds Mezzi. S4 also chimes into Alex on long. This is a great defense here already from Esports Club Kiev. You can see Bayern 9. He's just playing around this smoke, listening for any sort of sound cue to go for that spam. See how long he decides to wait here. If he decides to back off, has a teammate nearby as well so they can set up for something here and without molly getting thrown it's time to activate but crims takes him down he's a little bit quicker oh look at this smash is rotated through mid as well they're about to get crunched on you can't save he drops down but smash it's now his time to activate takes down crims that's a freebie he can drop off poison has to push up through long but he's going to get flashed off s4 has a chance here if he wants to go for the peak but actually decides not to Pepsol, they're going for a bit of a crunch play here. Spots him, but S4, he's going to get the win of it. Takes down Pepsol, and now Poison. 1v4, has the AWP, but nothing to do with it. And Working their way out towards lower tunnels, but Uklat Saber, he's going to get aggressive. He's actually going to spam in, but he's going to get caught. He just steps a little bit too far, and now it's a man advantage for Fnatic. By a 9, he's just trying to eliminate any of the pressure. And he'll be joined in by Smash. That's the mid wrong of this A split completely neutralized. And now all the Fnatic members, they just reside in long. E Club Eve, they can just completely collapse upon this. The flashbang, it's absolutely perfect. Whilst Alex does trade it out, it's still a three versus two. Smash finding another kill through the smoke as well. So once again, we're left in a clutch situation. Poison has to find a one on three if he wants to make this happen. Has a read on where Smash is, but the quick scope is this has looked dominant on the CT side for E-Club Eve. A Fnatic, what have they got to throw at this? It's just going to be B aggression. And look, it's going to be met instantly by a double up towards lower. Smash immediately trades now. Uklatsevich, he's just come from upper tunnels and that's it. That's the round done. E-Club Eve, they take their map pick. This is Fnatic's map pick. Hence, they are started on the T side. It's going to be a quick flurry up Banana. And immediately, Pep's thought he does deliver the damage. But are they going to clear this player at dark? Yeah, it's all on Amstel's back here. He has the angle. If he can swing out, he can maybe find a kill for free. Messi's clearing it, but he's jumping. It's a really hard target to hit. He actually somehow finds poison amongst that. Does go down eventually, though. So it is the four on three. These CTs, they have reached in quickly, though. And that bomb, it's actually not gone down yet. They're going to make this really difficult. But Crims, on the high angle, is able to find one. And the second just swings down and finds two. That's three in the round for him. Euclid Saver, he's now alone. Has a CZ, which is... At least an upgraded weapon, but no longer is Krim. It's going to take him out. It's, that's the new point of intention. Pepsor, he is going to catch out the swing. We'll get traded out one for one, but immediately Fnatic, they converge their attention towards short. S4 on site here is in a good position, but gets taken down and then smashed in the pit. He's able to find one, but that's all he's good for. Alex, if he goes down here, there's a chance the retake can come through. He gets tagged very low. I think they're aware of this. You can see, you can't save it. He's just going to chase him down. But they're not able to find him, and the fact that he gets away makes this retake a little bit less enticing. Two on three, especially with another smoke going down. Yep, that's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. They're going to have to back off, and once again, and Amster can swing out and find the second kill. And now Crims, he's going to activate the actual trait. It's not there at time. You've got Slaver. He swings out a little bit late. So that's a freebie for Crims. Doesn't quite equalize things. But you can see both Bionite and Amster are low. And they're the two defenders here on the B site. If they get spotted here, all they do does go down to Mezzi. That's a great kill. And that's going to open up this site now. 
Just this 12 HP player on the defense. They spot him as well towards quad. I'm sorry, he's gonna have to do something special here and Alex just chasing him down. Gonna turn this into a three on two. The player advantage towards the T's. You can't say that has gotten in here pretty quickly. That bomb though, I think it is gonna get to go down. Maybe an opportunity for the spray, but not to be. Once again, it's a three versus two situation. The rotations, they are here quite quick. And Smash does have a defuse kit. So you keep they might have a look in here. You can't say that is towards this room position, but the after plants they are well established over towards this dark position. And even though Uclut Saver swings out towards the B-bomb site, Fnatic, they don't need to reveal themselves. And they finally will. Alex, here, double up. The spray transfer connects. And Fnatic, they get a... if Fnatic want to exploit this, they need to go now. Yeah, as far as rotated over, he knows he'll spot it towards mid, so he's going to rotate as fast as he can. By a nine, he gets flashed through from S4. That's going to set him up to take down Pepsi. All these flashes are fantastic. They're stopping Fnatic making any headway in here. The smoke as well to deny that Molly. Now Amster also playing around a smoker of his own. Just smokes upon smokes here at the side. But Poison actually finds Amster through the smoke. S4 gets to trade onto the enemy AWPer. Now by nine in the back of side trying to take down Crims is successful in that endeavor. And Alex... He's all alone. He's managed to sneak through to ruins, but it looks like Bio 9 has the read on it. And now it's just a matter of time for them to hunt him down. How costly can he make this? Every kill is a detriment. It means another rebuy will have to come in for the CTs, and he's doing a lot of damage. But two kills. Have to do something special here to take down Amps, who's holding this line. Mezzi also brought low. All these Fnatic players have the walking wounded at the moment, and the angle he flicks under him through the edge of the wall. A great kill from Amster. That bomb does go down, though. But this retake, you got to feel that Esports key if they're keen to go for it. I'm actually just so impressed that Fnatic have even been able to get the bomb down in this situation. Poison. He's doing the damage, gets a kill over towards CT, and a second onto S4. That's one of the snipers eliminated. And actually, he takes down Amster at Ruins. Suddenly, this is so contestable off the back of Poison's Heroics. It's a four versus two. And these CTs, they're going to need to run away. They can't do anything about it. But Crims, he does try and eliminate them from contention. Not to be. Uclat Saver gets out just in the nick of time. There's two players residing in the respective pits. Let's have a look. Poison's got double flash, so he could potentially send them out for success, but damage has already been exchanged. Battle lines have been drawn, and S4, he will eliminate the AWP towards top brackets. It allows an opportunity for Alex to potentially creep out towards short, but he's been spotted. The utility is coming in. It allows the repeats to form. Or E Club even smash. He's doing all the damage. A lovely double kill. Mezzi is now left alone. Over towards this boiler position in the one versus five. It'll be so difficult for him to get anything done. He will take out Uklat Saver. With 30 seconds left on the clock, it's such a difficult prospect for him to achieve anything. Yeah, and smash. He <laughs> what a crazy double kill, but Mezzi. Gonna get taken down by smash in the end. Potentially be gathered, however, it's a double warp push in towards long. The smoke, it plumes, probably at the worst moment. Yeah, I'm going to get control of this site, though. This is the bomb that's going to go down, so... A great position for, for Fnatic. The spam from Bio9, not able to find anyone. S4, oh, it looks like there's almost a chance there, and he does spot Crims in the end. Just catching him on the edge of that smoke. You think this might entice him to go for it? Looks like they're setting up for some sort of utility all the way back. That's a retake smoke coming through. They've got a Molotov to throw onto side as well. This might flush out that player that's tucked into the corner. It could be perfect. It's going to bloom. Alex, he's just going to burn out, I think. Yeah, he goes down. Poison behind this smoke, though. He's in a perfect position to hold this off. Just spamming. Mezzi gets the kill as well. And now S4 with the AWP. He has to get away. A Fnatic, it feels like they stole that one away. It looked like the defense was perfect, but this is not going to appear down the line. May be met by Poison's scope. It's actually getting quite aggressive. However, the boost, it's been mantled in Banana. Alex gets traded out by Amster. But once again, look. The utility is just so perfect. The rotations, they're going to need to come in for E-Club Keeve. It looks like Uclut Saver has made the journey over. Will drop a Molotov, potentially. This way, the movement. They can just jump over from Oranges. The bomb site, it's completely cracked open. 
new cut saver, the hero flash through the smoke, it's not to be. Fnatic are leaving nothing to chance despite being so many rounds up. On the brink of elimination, it looks like they're rising from the ashes. The bomb can be planted. It's a four versus two. And potentially, in fact, almost definitely, a 12 round on the board for Fnatic. He really sees the success. Yeah, I love this. And Smash is just continued to push through. Mezzi should have maybe an idea that this is possible. Perhaps not. He's not looking the right way, says so Smash. He's gone all the way into the back lines. And this is basically going to force them. Like, they have to go to B now. They know that this flank is coming in hot and fast. Amstar, he's playing around Pillar here. Has an opportunity to maybe find a kill. The smoke coming through to maybe give him a bit of cover. There's actually two players here as well. By a nine. He swings out. The flash is perfect. Able to find one. Pepsor, the flashes, the counter flashes. He can't find it. And now he's made to push all the way up behind by nine playing around here and perhaps he's actually left all alone it's the one on four stuck in the corner it's a reset and up against 14. so really have to make this one happen and s4 he does what a great headshot onto poison just jiggling the angle and he's so fast finds it but alex he's gonna get flashed through finds one but trade out immediately by nine, if he picks this angle, it's a chance he can find Mezzi, who's up close and personal. He's taken down by S4. So suddenly, the player advantage is in the favor of Esports Key. If you can see, Crim's on the rotate already. Pepsor in mid has a chance maybe to find new cut saver. Spots his head, just going to tap at it with the FAMAS. Going to push forward, in fact. Actually might be able to play around this and catch this player off guard. But no, new cut saver takes him down, finds the headshot onto Pepsor. Now it's just Crim's left in a one on three. Does know where this bomb is, knows that a player isn't here. So actually has an opportunity to make this happen, but Amster, he's going to shut it down. I'm here for Esports Club Kiev to get their six on the board. Just going to see if Fnatic decide to go and maybe steal away a rifle here. Four USPs running at someone, can probably find a kill. I'm going to get a bit of info towards mid. Potentially going to come back and try and contest this. By now, and he's just tucking into underpass here. Going to pick up at the right time. Does get dinked, so he does go down. That's one kill for their troubles. And you, now you cut saver. He can just sit back here towards that. Spamming on his own. He gets taken out by the USPs as well. So they are able to inflict a little bit of damage. Maybe recover some of these rifles. Even finding another as well, but Poison not able to collect that AK. He's going to go down. And now Amster, very clean shot there onto Mezzi to find him. Might not be long for this. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be ready for Mezzi here just because they think that Molotov cleared him. But Alex does go down, so now Mezzi on an island here, but he's able to find the kill on Amps, so that's everything because the Molotov prevents the Trey kill. He's able to escape with his life, even doing some extra damage to Smash in the process. So a great hold there from Mezzi. He does everything to keep Fnatic into this round. Now it's the three on four, the player advantage towards the CTs. You can see Crims. Curious about Long, suspecting they might be going for a bit of a play here, and he'd be right. Has to be careful he doesn't get caught out in rotation, though. He's slowly moving over. You can see the jiggle comes through. He tries to fall back. Actually manages to find one before the trade comes in. And now Poison, he's caught out. One player has S4 in his sights, just jiggling this angle. Closed him down with the last couple of bullets. And Fnatic, they up just to keep them guessing. And this is the second one. This is the key one, Messi. He's going to swing off this. They're all blinded. Finds one, but S4 able to recover. That is the bomb spotter. Now Alex actually aggresses. The bomb drops in front of the half wall. He's now holding this. You can't say where finds the trade though. They can collect this bomb and slowly they're going to move into the B side. But Poison, he's already here with the rotates. Has an opportunity but can't find the shot. Actually, that smoke, it's got a massive gap in it. Crims, he can play around this. One of the players gets through the pool. I don't know if they're going to be ready for this. The huge gap. Crims, he exploits it. Finds one. The damage is done back in favor. And you can see now it's a three on two. 15 seconds left. That bomb is going to go down. Poison even going for the wall bank. Isn't able to find it. And now we're into this post plant. The flash is S4. He's going to try and readjust all of these CTs. They're coming from ruins at the moment. You can see Poison posted up on the angle, holding towards new box. He's got an ally with him, trying to see if one of these T's is going to give up anything. But at the moment, it looks like they're going to be the ones that has to go for the aggressive play. Yukat Saver taking the jewel. Crims finds S4. It's now just Yukat Saver towards Newbox. Finds one. Has the read on both these players. The time. It's ticking down. There's a chance he can make this happen. Poison does find him in the end. And I think Pepsor has just enough time for the defuse. 
was away from taking us to a decider map. Yeah, and there's the first going, the favorite of Poison, finds S4 towards Underpass. Amps is going to be looking for the trade with Poison. He's adjusted, he's aware of it. Finds the kill through the edge of the wall. Fantastic opening kills in the way of Fnatic. Now they're going to be trying their luck on the B site. Mezzi gets flashed off but is able to escape. They both drop Molotovs there, so that's a little bit awkward. Using a little bit of their utility. The Lurk Smoke being dropped now. But Mezzi and Alex, they're aware of this play. They know that this play is here and they're just going to play around this smoke. They're keen to take these engagements. And Alex, it looks like he might even set up a flashbang here for Mezzi. He's going to swing off it. It's perfect. It finds one, drops the bomb. The trade does come through. But now you cut Saver and Bayern 9. They have to pull off the 2v4 if they want to keep Esports Club Kiev in this round. It's going to be a bit difficult. Actually, the deep CT smoke will miss as well. So Crims can just stay still. Rooted over towards the CT position. Alex has a flash to set him up. He doesn't spot anything towards the pool position. And I have to be careful not to overextend. But the flashbangs are absolutely perfect. And Fnatic, they get it. You might get the information as these players are going to split in towards middle. It's similar to what we saw against the Flames and Poison. He's actually going to overextend. This is going to be the accelerator, but Pepsil, he's trying to hold the line, but he can't get anything done. Uclat Saber, he gets two kills into the round, and the utility, it's in. The bomb, it can be planted to Fnatic. They're going to have to go for this retake. They're actually just going to run straight through the smoke. And Mezzi, he's actually getting all the kills. He's doubled up, but then Smash converts. It's now this one versus two. It's incredibly chaotic. Alex, he's just over towards this temple, but the steps have been heard, and actually... He's going to just jump back in at the worst possible moment. Only 30 HP remaining and Amster will silence him. But can he replicate and do the same and go one better? Oh, by nine. Be just, just aggression. It's, I think it punished. He's like running out through the Molotov, but gets burned down. Does do a bit of damage onto Pepsa. And also towards Rat. Mezzi's pushed down, but Amster has the read on him, but gets blinded by the smoke. Just walks a bit too far into it. Crim's placed up on shelf here. Has a chance to find a kill of his own. So kill's going all the way for Fnatic at the moment. Finally, the trade comes through, but then Alex, he's there, and Pepsil with a great flash sets him up for success. That's just going to tuck in. Mezzi with the spam, not going to find anything, but it's going to be the AWP of Poison to be tested, but he misses the mark. This bomb site, it can now be planted upon, but the spam, it is good from Pepsil. Actually, it's going to be the AK-47 from him towards short. The spam actually misses the mark. It's now this three versus two. In Fnatic's favor, but both the T's they've pushed up towards long. One flash on Amster, he could potentially deploy it. The Bayer 9, he's gonna look towards short. Back turned, catches out Pepsil. It's now Mezzi and Crims, both towards this cave position. They're gonna have to try and defuse the bomb. It could be a very tall task, especially with Bayer 9 eliminating Mezzi. It's now all down to the one versus one. So much time is being wasted, but there are so many kits on the floor, and Crims can lock it in many CTs to greet them. And Poison's holding the line as well. Has missed a couple of these and actually won't even fire a shot. S4, that's absolutely clinical and oh no. Fire 9, he gets one onto Alex as well. This is all turned on its head off the couple of Eagle shots. Grims, he gets tagged down low and Amster can just swing on in with the MP9. This is all falling apart for Fnatic. It's just Pepsor in this one versus three. He's rotated in towards CT. But that's all he could potentially achieve because... Exciting and uh, influential rounds we've seen so far in here. Now Alex, he's looking to maybe have some influence. He's managed to find one, but gets traded out. So now it's the four on four. Mezzi, the danger man, he's moved up. Tucked into this corner. Poison supporting in cave as well. Going to go for an aggressive peek. There's no one on the other side. So get a bit of info here. All these players... Looking like they're going to be coming up ramp. Yeah, but look at this. is being pinched upon. Rims and Poison, they're working their way down the ramp. It's not being checked. Rims will capitalize on Mezzi. He can just tuck in. He can do no wrong right now. Doubling up on the site. It's all up to Ukat Saver as he just tries to run away towards the A-bomb site. He wins out this duel with Pepsor. It's a good opportunity for will connect and now Pepsor he's gonna be have to be the one to hold and he will just only good for one once again the Deagles of E-Club Kiva just reigning supreme the bomb can be planted but Mezzi through the smoke does good damage onto Bayern 9 and now it's this three versus three 
Yet all these T's have been brought low, although they have great post plant positions here. And the utility on the CTs, it is not in a good place. Just a single flashbang on Crims to set this up. And Amster, he's going to find Poison flanking all the way back through. Messi on the trade. You can't save it. He's been revealed here towards Donut. In fact, both of these T's are in towards Donut. So if Messi, if he can play Protect the President here, just stop the bomb diffuser. No, he can't do it. You can't save her. Another player has rotated over. Ooh, you can't save it. Just takes down Poison. This is a clean headshot to decapitate him. And now Mezzi, he has a chance to activate. Finds two. Drops the bomb as well. Mezzi, he's a superstar for this Fnatic roster. He's kept them in this round. And now Crims has a great angle on Euclid Saver. The MP5 actually comes out ahead. Manages to upgrade himself to the M4. And now by a 9, he's left alone in the 1v3. Messi once again is having an absolute stormer on H and he gets And they're just trapped here. Pepsil's in middle. He's actually in support with Crims as well. It's just gonna be so difficult for the rest of the teams to really advance anywhere. So much map control once again. That's been the staple for Fnatic constantly taking and stripping it away from this Keeve side and as they aggress towards B ramp. They're going to be met with the rotations immediately because Fnatic, they've got all the information. Alex, he's going to get flashed in. Does do a fair bit of damage here, but it's not quite enough to find a kill. Going to fall back to the pocket position. But it's Pepsi on the flank. He sprays down three. All headshots as well. Great spray control from the young guard. Poison, there's a little gap in that smoke, but he's not able to exploit it. Now Pepsor, he's tested again, finds two, actually swaps to his Molotov, maybe at the worst possible time, but it doesn't matter. He's able to get away. Oh, not quite. Yukon Saver actually shuts him down, but Alex, he's in hot pursuit, just running through here, but Yukon Saver, he has the read, but not the HP to stop it. And now the three players leaning over towards Donut here with the bomb in their hands. And he's also key. They have to play retake here. Mezzi, he's going to go down to smash. And these two T's, they have to somehow find their way into Donut to get this bomb. It's just going to be so difficult for the more defensive utility being dropped at the entrance of Donut. These two T's, they just can't even aggress. But Alex and Poison, they've got the perfect positions, but Poison's going to need to start hitting some shots. 55, actually make it 45 seconds left on the clock. Poison, he does spot out Smash just on the edge of the smoke, and he will hit the second as well. Heading, It's going to be a tall task on his shoulders. He needs to get past the first challenge of Mezzi. But he won't even get past Poison. The bomb, it doesn't get dropped, but look at S4. Oh, perfect Molotov from Alex, flushing him out of position. But Smash, he actually comes through from CT. But who's there to bail out Fnatic once again? It's Mezzi. Bomb to be planted. Three versus two after plant. Yeah, there's still got a bit of utility. Going to throw that Molotov through. Alex also has a smoke. He can drop this towards one of those two positions, whether that's Temple or towards CT. Going to throw it to CT. So Amster now, he has an opportunity to sneak out here. Spots Alex, but Alex, he jiggles onto him. That's a perfect kill. Now by a nine. Has three to find. Does have a kit, but no utility. Messi does jiggle onto him, so the awareness is fully there of where he is. Trying to play around this box, isn't Messi? He's just jiggling. He doesn't need anything more than that Galil to take him down, and that's going to gonna hold this wait for the re-peak by nine just jiggling around it there's a chance that Messi can find an opening oh he's looking the wrong way but swoops back knows that there's a player here just gonna go for the spam and poison actually gonna be opening it up Messi does find the kill eventually onto by nine now Amsa, he's alone here the rotate has come through from s4 but he's smoked off and now fanatic they can make their way onto this site yeah they can and Messi, he's even so aware that there's a possibility of s4 just in the gap Whilst Amster does trade it out, once again, it's potentially enough. Two versus three. Pepsor, he's tucked in behind this default box. He will catch out Smash. Back turd and Amster. That's a lovely couple of Deagle headshots. How many more have you got for us? One versus two, but it's not to be. Fnatic once again. He finds the head of Amster. Of course, he does 35 kills to his name at the moment. And S4 does take him down with the AWP. He's going to push up and try and fight Poison. But that smoke, it's going to bloom. And now Fnatic, four on two, are able to get this bomb onto site. It's absolutely ridiculous. But hang on, there's a gap in this smoke. And Alex, it looks like he might be aware of it. I think the scope just stuck through, potentially. Poison, he's going for an audacious shot. The no scopes are coming in. It's all flare on the server. The bomb could be planted. It's all getting a little bit scrappy. Hebsor and Poison left alive. Smash, he can rotate in from this cave position. 
Petzl tucked in behind this default box. This kill, it's so important. Poison can save Fnatic in this one versus two, but he has been wall banged already. It's so difficult for him. The fake has been connected. And now S4, he goes for the defuse, but he can't get it over the line. Poison through the smoke. And I think there's just enough time for the defuse to come in. There's so much chaos, but eventually the C of favor for them over towards B ramp. It allows them a lot of control. Messi's just holding this line though. Amps has already dinked down quite low, but that smoke is going to prevent it. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, it's going to be Smash and S4 to combine. Smash is so aware that there could be a potential of a player in towards middle. There is one there indeed. It's Crimson. He's made his way all the way over to red. There's a time in here. This could get a little bit crazy. Because the bomb, it has been picked up on Alex. The majority of the rotations are here for the CTs. They're just going to wait on Crims. His timing is everything right now. He's playing trigger discipline. He's working his way in. And that is one of the defense neutralized. But look at S4 in from Donut. He's holding the position. He spots out the arm. And now it's a four versus two. Mezzi doesn't quite get the jump over. And now the map. It's going to be Crims trying to extend it towards middle. But meanwhile, through the shelf position... Oh, actually, and in towards the middle as well. The CTs, they are finding kills across the board. Pepsil's going to try and walk in to maybe trade out Crims. It might be a difficult task. Yeah, Alex has managed to find his way all the way onto the side here. Pepsil's found a kill of his own, but Amster, he's going to catch Alex unaware. So now we're in the two on four. Pepsil, he's found his way into Red House, but S4, he's waiting for them. And now Poison, he's left alone in a one on four. Does have the bomb and utility. If you can find this kill here, there's a chance he can maybe open it up. He does. He takes down Smash. This is now a one on three. The CTs, they have to scramble over here to the A side. So Poison has an opportunity here if he manages to get this util down. Can smoke off the AWPer. Not able to find an angle. With that Molotov being thrown through, he might be able to get this bomb down. Actually, he's got the read. He knows the player is going to come through and pressure Donut. But by nine, he's actually aware that Poison wants to go for this aggressive play. Great awareness here from the squad. Poison, he's trying to pull every trick out, but S4, he just holds the line, shuts him down. The CTs, they're scrambling. Smash, it's all on him here. He's the only one that can stop this A assault. Playing in Donut, going to try have the duel against Pepsor, but can't control the spray. Goes down, S4 finds a kill of his own, though. So, bomb, it's going to go down, and now we're into the two-on-two. Two. Here we are. And I tell you what, it didn't look possible, but now this retake can definitely come in. Both of these CTs... Coming from the same position. This smoke is going to isolate Donut. But Mezzi and Pepsil, they're not playing towards there. Mezzi's tucked in towards Temple. And Pepsil gets eliminated towards a main. And now Mezzi, we've seen his heroics with the 1 versus 5 in this exact position. Just needs to bide his time. Just needs to wait down the clock. But Amster holds the line. S4 can stick the defuse. And once again, it's another round. And Mezzi he might even be peeking into this one. The elevated angle on the boost of Bayer 9, it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to potentially clear this. Smoke's being deployed in towards middle, Donut and Red means that Fnatic, they can have mid control. This is something that they have not gathered in quite a number of these rounds. And it means that the rotations are going to start to disappear or at least anchor E-Club Eve in towards A. Yeah, but this double set was cave. I think this is going to be everything. Alex peeks into it. Mezzi does as well. They both go down without getting a single kill. And now Crims, even though Donut is smoked off here, you know, there's a chance they can find the opening, but the player disadvantage, there's two more CTs alive. They're just going to run into Donut. There's two players here to hold it off. Poison finds one, but you can't save it. He's just dancing and diving, running away from Poison. He's trying to hunt him. as a ring around the rosy. He's just dodging out of the way, and Poison, he cannot find him. S4 shuts him down. It's Crims. Four kills. That's all this team needs to eliminate Fnatic. Poison, he's going to get wall banged. And now the execute comes in. 20 seconds. It's do or die. They managed to get the bomb planted at the very least. But by a nine, he manages to spam it and peps it through the cave. And Smash, he's going to flank onto Mezzi. It's now a two versus four. The T's, they're just isolated in this long position. Surely this isn't how it ends. They had such an advantageous lead. And now Alex and Poison, they have to do it all. 
Saving graces is not a lot of utility. Alex is able to swing out and get one. The flash comes through, finds the second as well, has a chance here onto the third, but now it's just poison in the 1v2. Has the AWP. It's not quite planned for him in Amster. Gonna shut it down. It's going to be Esports Kiev taking the series, taking the map 16-14, and they're gonna stay in these qualifiers.